Now switching gears, we're continuing to follow the shooting of a police officer in the Choice Creek area. We first brought you the story yesterday when officials had the area on lockdown to search for the suspect. No suspect has yet been found, but the officer who was shot has been released from the hospital. KUSI's Lindsay Vicano is live from the area with new details. Good evening, Lindsay. Yeah, good evening, Teresa. The police chief confirming that officer is at home resting. He is okay, and he has been released from the hospital. But the search is still on for that shooter, that armed and dangerous shooter that had shot the police officer yesterday morning. Now, police, they did have this entire street taped off behind me from University, from 52nd to 54th Streets. And the chief says that that suspect not in their search perimeter that they had cornered off and and that search remains ongoing. They are now shifting their focus to speak with residents individually and also nearby businesses, checking surveillance footage, getting any kind of clue as to where that suspect might be. Now, just to recap for you, this all went down at around 1115 yesterday, yesterday morning when that suspect shot a San Diego police officer in the arm while he was conducting an auto theft report. This is when the bullet struck him on, on the 5300 block of Ogden Street near Shiloh Road. The suspect then fled the scene, and after that, a massive multi-department manhunt began. Several departments from the region assisting, including several different police departments, the sheriff's deputies, SWAT team, and other emergency responders as well. Nearby elementary schools were put on a lockdown, and a shelter-in-place had been ordered for Choyas Creek residents in the region. Now, the lockdown and shelter-in-place, they have been lifted, but the search remains ongoing today for the man that shot the San Diego police officer. Now, uh, to, to go into detail about what he looked like, described as a bald Hispanic male, approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall, 150 pounds, wearing a gray sweatshirt. In a press conference this afternoon, the San Diego police chief issuing a message for Choyas Creek residents and a stern warning for the suspect. There's no doubt in my mind that there's people out there in our community that know who this suspect is and knows where this suspect is currently. So I'm asking you to come forward. Uh, you can use Crime Stoppers, you can remain anonymous, and you can get paid for this information. So I encourage those uh, that know something, and again, there's no doubt in my mind, there is somebody that knows something in these communities that can call us. Uh, and so again, we're gonna be working around the clock, um, gathering more evidence. Uh, this is obviously a priority investigation for this police department. I want to thank all the allied agencies that came out yesterday and assisted with this search. We had everybody from California High Patrol, the sheriffs, Escondido Police, all the local police departments uh, were there. I want to thank the community for their outpouring of support for our department and this officer that was uh, obviously very, very well accepted by us. I want to thank the community for their outreach. And again, I want to thank the community for those that will continue to help us in apprehending this suspect. And to the suspect, I know you know who you are. You need to surrender. Uh, we are not going to stop searching for you until we take you into custody. And the police chief also mentioning that suspect willing to do anything to get away. And if he's willing to shoot a police officer, he is willing to shoot anyone else. So if you have any information at all about the suspect, if you've seen him, know about his whereabouts, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers or 911. The police chief did mention that there would be a cash reward for any successful details that lead to uh, that suspect being apprehended. In the meantime, Teresa, we'll send it back over to you in the studio. Lindsay, thank you for the update, and we will see you at 6.